Hello friends, in this video we will learn about chain or skeletal isomerism. In the previous video we have learned isomerism, isomers, structural isomerism and stereo isomerism. Chain or skeletal isomerism comes under the classification of structural isomerism. So we will see what are chain or skeletal isomerism. The compounds which have same molecular formula same functional group but different arrangement of carbon chain or carbon skeleton shows chain or skeletal isomerism. So what is important in this definition that this isomers will have same molecular formula, same functional group but the arrangement of carbon chain will differ. We will understand this concept by looking few examples. The first is C5 H12. Let us see how many chain isomers are possible for this compound C5 H12. First linear chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will attach hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Second, it will be in branching. Will complete its valency. And the third is possible again, it is of branching. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So you can see that this is my pentane with five carbon chain. This is my two methyl butane with four carbon chain. And this is my 2,2 dimethyl propane with 3 carbon chain. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon chain, and 1, 2, 3, 3 carbon chain. So these three are my chain isomers for the compound C5H12. Here you can see that carbon skeleton is changing. The second example, C4, H10, O. Oh. Let us see how many chain isomers are possible with the same functional group. CH3, CH2, 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 OH and other is CH3, CH, CH2, OH and here CH3. So here we can see that it is having four carbon chain and the name is butane 1 all and the name of this compound is 2 methyl 1 propanol. So carbon chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon chain and here 1, 2, 3, 3 carbon chain. Uh, you might be having doubt then what if we replace, if we place this CH3 group at this carbon. So let us do that too. For better understanding. CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, OH. So now you can see that the name of this compound will be Butane 2 all. So on changing the position of CH3 from this to this carbon, we are getting butane 2 all. It means that we are changing the position of functional group. But according to the definition of chain or skeletal isomerism, we have to change the carbon chain. Means the carbon chain should vary, must vary. 
not the functional group. So this cannot be our chain isomerism. Let us look at the third example. C5 H10. So we can see that two structures are possible. Cyclic structure. Two cyclic structure. This is my methyl cyclobutane and this is my cyclopentane. So in each case we will see that here the functional group is alkane in all the three molecules means single bond. Here the functional group is OH and here again it is cyclic as well as containing a single bond. So we can see that the chain or, carb uh, chain or skeletal isomerism have same functional group, same molecular formula, but the arrangement of carbon is different. Hope you have understood. If you have any doubt, then please write in the comment section and I will try to solve them. Thank you. If you find this video useful, then please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest updates. Thank you.